Hi all, welcome to the Urbi Academy. Today we will see how we are going to install the Splunk Enterprise Edson in our Windows system and how to download it, download the Splunk Enterprises and create a Splunk account and how we can install that and Splunk installation completion steps. I'm going to show you the one by one. And uh, first, what you have to do is go to the Google, type Splunk download option. Once you type in the Google, then uh, download download Splunk, click on the download Splunk. And then uh, whichever the version, if you, you want to uh, download, a Splunk Cloud Platform, no, uh, that is a 14 days. And I want to practice for the uh, Splunk Enterprise Edition. This is if you download and install, and uh, it will be lost for uh, like the 60 days. Okay, that is the reason. And universal parallel also it is there. I don't want to download any other thing. So just Splunk Enterprise Edition. Click Get My Pre Trial. Okay, once you click on that, it is going to ask the uh, like the we need to register as per this data create the Splunk account we are going to download the Splunk enterprise now we need to create the Splunk account then it is going to give the uh, we need to download it the that particular file uh, to register for the Splunk we need to give these details what are the details uh, like the email ID, password, first name, last name, job title, phone number, company, and uh, this zip code, and agree, then create the account, then you need to verify that, okay? Well, using the Splunk Enterprise 9.21, uh, what, what and all we are going to do? What is the use? Keep and manage your data in your on-premises environment with the Splunk Enterprise, and start searching, analyzing, and visualizing your data on powerful, easy to understand the dashboard. And install on Windows or Linux to get the insight from the, all the parts of your multi-cloud and hybrid environment. So once you sign up for the Splunk Enterprise tile, you will see how, how it help you to. Okay, let us, without wasting the time, and we are going to begin. And you give your email ID, okay like this you give your email id i have given my email id and i have i will set the password okay okay and uh, here i will give you like the l2 support l2 support or be academy given job title so Support, support, engineer, support engineer. Phone I will give like the nine eight four five double two six eight one. Okay, I will give like the THBS. Okay, uh, I will give pi six double zero double zero six eight. I agree. And I agree, receive the market communication, create an account. All are good, good condition only. Uh, after that, you need to, we are going to create the account. Okay, so account is getting created. Okay, it will take few seconds. Okay, save this. Verification mail has been sent to here. So I have the he's here activate your account, verify your email ID. We need to activate that. Okay. But it's so choose your download. Okay. So once you have activated your account, what you have to do? So uh, I am downloading the download it for Windows. If you want to download it for the Linux, you click here. And you can go for the deb or the TZ file or whatever. If you are Mac, then you download a 690 MB DMG like this. As my requirement is Windows system, that is the reason. .msi file and pi not MB it is there. And uh, 
copy the wget link or the download now so i am going to click on download now option once you click on download now option and download is download is getting started okay see here uh, download it is going to start and it will take the uh, based on your uh, internet speed it will take some time let us wait for it okay yes we are about to complete the download now and uh, once the download is completed yeah so download has been completed and you click on show in the folder okay so you are able to see the splunk uh, msi file has been downloaded uh, to install in your system just double click on it okay you have double clicked it and uh, after the double click and what it is uh, uh, telling so click the box to accept the license first click on this and if you want to view the license agreement you can see it and what are the details they have mentioned if you want you can read it click on ok and then click on nothing you have to do install the splunk enterprise in c C program files and Splunk run the Splunk enterprise as the local system account create the start menu shortcut and this is the thing it is going to do and click next okay set the username I will set the username as Urbi Academy Urbi Academy okay Urbi Academy whatever the uh, uh, like the if you want to have the password you can do that i'm creating some password for this you can also create and then click next okay so click install to begin the installation click back to review the changes or your installation uh create the start menu and uh, installation has been started and it will take the few seconds okay so do you want to allow this app to make the changes to a device? Yes. Okay. I'll give on the permission. Now installation has been started. Once the installation is complete, installation in progress, and uh, it is going to give the Splunk UI. And there to log into that, whatever the username and password you have created and you need to give the mm, to log in using the username and password urbi academy as a username i have chosen and it is going to open uh, the uh, splunk ui very soon like this you need to install in your system uh, and after that i will guide you how we can uh, practice the all the search queries the alert how to create the alert and how to create the dashboard all the steps i'm going to tell you all those things and uh, operation component registration and uh, let us wait for a few seconds it is going to update it very soon and uh, meantime and i will uh, show you the other steps here okay it is taking the few seconds let us wait okay so um, and let it complete and along with that what i am doing now so whenever you have downloaded the splunk right there only so uh, what it will be here is so uh, you can search search command by category docs it is there splunk search quick reference guide is there and search command tips and tricks it is there specify the time ranges it will be there and how we can creating alert in the splunk enterprise it is there it is a video is there addressing the alert uh, a configuration session is there you can go through this you will get the more insight and similarly if you want to know more about the report how to create the report in splunk enterprise 
and create and edit the report we have the doc for it and uh, like this we can create the uh, dashboard and pre-built dashboard also is there we can check and we can create our own dashboards and we can customize them we can visualize them and splunk deeper dashboard doc is there and you can refer this document okay and this is the document uh, once you log into the your uh, splunk uh, uh using your email id and password and then you are able to see this guys after the download okay let us see where the download it came and uh, it is taking little bit time let us wait for it guys and uh, splunk enterprise 9.021 version we have downloaded for the practice guys okay and uh, it, is, it is in progress and let us wait and uh, progress bar is there and uh, it has a finished installation and a splunk enterprise was successfully installed launch the browser with the splunk enterprise and click on finish okay and username and it will ask for the username and password i will give the username urbi academy and password whatever the password i have given Okay. And uh, you have to give the username and password like this and you need to log in, okay? This is the process.